hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn the notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop updates on this is fit stay tuned on today's episode brita stays restless about shura she wonders what's happening to her and why she's feeling tense when everything is okay she doesn't feel no more she doesn't get sleep she feels something wrong is happening she tells that Shruti and Rajvi are okay. She wishes so nothing wrong happens with anyone. Parky goes home. She sneaks into her room and tries to sleep before Mahi catches her. Mahi asks where she went and does she have an affair? She suspects Parky has gone to help her boyfriend. Parky tells she has gone to help her new neighbor. Mahi asks her to swear she has no affair. Parky swears she doesn't have a boyfriend. Mahi gets upset and tells there is no use pushing Parky. Parky smiles and thinks of Rajvi. She starts liking him. Rajvi also thinks of her. He wonders what was that feeling. Parky doesn't know why she's thinking about Rajvi so much. She tries to sleep. She gets blocked by this thought. Rajvi is also occupied with her thought. He tries to sleep and asks himself to stop thinking of her. The next morning, Rishab goes to the police station and meets the inspector. He introduces himself as Rishab Lutra. Inspector tells he knows Rishab well and he has read his interviews. Rishab tells he wants to build Shuria, who is his nephew. Inspector tells he can permit him to meet Shuria, but the bail isn't a possible until Rajvi and his Masi withdraw the case. He tells that Shuria was drunk and has hit a police officer. He is ready to forgive Rajvi to forgive Shoria. He tells that Shoria can't come out of jail until Rajvi dismisses the case. Rishab goes to meet Shoria. Rajvi finds Palki trying to kickstart her scooter. Palki isn't able to figure out the issue. Rajvi thinks to go and help her. He finds Palki's dad repairing the scooter. He wonders where Palki went. Palki dries the wet clothes, splashes the water on Rajvi. He, uh, she apologizes she didn't see him. He asks if he can help her. She tells that she can handle her work on her own. He tells that he can fix the scooter. Gurana asks him to help because it's his scooter. Rajvi helps him. Gurana asks who he is. Parky tells Rajvi is Kuprit's new tenant. Rajvi introduces himself to Kurana. He fixes the scooter issue. Rajvi and Parky have a moment. She wonders why she's looking at Rajvi again and again. She tries to control her heart. Even Rajvi tends to look at her again and again while repairing the scooter. Shurya hits his head on the wall. Sanju asks him not to hurt himself. Shurya is frustrated. He tells that he got so troubled by the mosquitoes that he wants to file a complaint against the policeman. He tells that he isn't a prisoner. He sees Rishab and asks him if he came to bail him out. Rishab asks if he is okay. Shurya tells he can't stay in the lockup. Rishab asks him to give him some time. He is trying to figure out some way and make Rajvi withdraw the complaint. Shurya tells that Rajvi would never take back the complaint. Sanju tells Rajvi said he would take revenge on rich guys. He lies that Rajvi demanded money. Shurya tells that he can't stay in the lockup for another night. Rishab asks him to give him some time. Shurya asks Sanju why he lied to Rishab. He doesn't want to lie to the family. He tells that they have accepted him as he is and his mom is amazing for only supporting him. Brita makes the ladus. Gobrit praises her skills. Brita tells she always makes ladus for Rajvi. Gobrit thanks her for her help. Brita tells she loves to make sweets. Rajvi also loves to eat ladus and he forgets his anger. She tells she had learned these skills from her mother. She remembers Raki in her memory flash. She gets restless. She then remembers Sal and cries. Raki makes the ladus for Shuria. She expects him to come home. Nidhi thinks Raki controls all the men of the house by making sweets. Raki asks if Rishab has come home. Nidhi tells he is still at the police station. Raki tells she has made the ladus for Shuria. Karan reaches there and finds his favorite ladus. He tells he has just come to have water. Raki tells she won't give the ladus to anyone. Rishab calls up Karan. Raki asks Karan to put the call on speaker. Rishab tells them he needs time. He couldn't free Shoria till now and he spoke to the inspector that their lawyer isn't able to help. 
because the case is complicated. He wants to find out who Rajvi Aurora is and request he withdraws the case. Raki asks him to meet Rajvi and request him. He asks Karan to go along. Karan tells he will not support Sharia. Raki tells she is also adamant like him. She declares that she will not have food and water until Sharia comes back home. He smiles watching the emotional drama. Rishab tells Karan that Sharia did a mistake but they have to fix it because they are family. That they will explain to Shuri after bringing him home. Karan agrees for Raki's sake. Rishab tells they would go to Rajvi's house. Karan tells he would be dead soon. He asks Raki not to torture herself. He asks Nidhi to take care of his mom.